Something that was really dope this year, while we were awaiting the college football playoffs to be announced, all we were looking for is seeding, okay? Like, seeding is important because, of course, the number two team is going to have a harder fight than the number one team, but we weren't anticipating any shenanigans this year, right? We were only looking at what team was going to play what team. And what do I mean by shenanigans, right? When you look at the past few college football playoffs, it's always been at least one flaw in there, right? Like, the Clemson-Ohio State game was interesting, Right. But we all knew that Washington was going to get smoked by Alabama. But this isn't about the best four teams in college football, because if that's the case, Georgia would be there. And, you know, Washington, they just happened to win at the end and they represented the Pac-12 and they were a one loss team. So they just found their way into that fight and got smoked. That's what you get. Right. What about the year when, hey, this side of the playoff is cool when there's Tua Tonga-Valoa versus Kyler Murray. I represent that side of the game, but somehow Notre Dame got to sneak in there. Notre Dame wasn't one of the best four teams in college football that year. They just had an argument. Okay. And some people say we should extend the playoffs to six teams or eight teams. But, man, there's a college basketball playoffs that has 68 teams and the 69th and 70th teams. Even they can make a case about how they got screwed over, you know. So I think we should just keep it at four and just be like, hey, just don't lose games. Everybody wants to be a one loss team that can make it in. Just 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 don't lose. Um, even this this debacle here, the whole UCF felt like they were good enough to play Alabama, but they never got the opportunity to play Alabama. I would love to see Alabama have beaten up on UCF that year. But um, that was just it just goes along with the uh, with the uh, ambiguous nature of shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know what I mean? There was none of that this year. And how it was set up, if you look at how the conference championship games were set up, it was set up to where you were in control of your own destiny. Except for Clemson and Virginia, that was the only one that didn't really have that kind of vibe to it. But, you know, Baylor wasn't in the conversation because Oklahoma beat them. Of course, Oregon, you know, they won their game. They're a two-loss team. But Utah was about to be in the conversation. I actually tweeted. I tweeted and I said, man, Utah is going to get their ass whooped by Ohio State. But Oregon took care of Utah. Um, Wisconsin was, was, was taken care of. Georgia was taken care of. So these top four teams, is they're, they're basically the best of the best of the best, sir. You can make an argument that Georgia possibly is better than Oklahoma, but LSU went in there and smoked Georgia. So, you know, that's not even a conversation to be had. Ohio State had a pretty close fight. Uh, Clemson walked away with it. You know, I already said LSU. They're the clear cut number one. So uh, let's take a look at some of these matchups, man, to see what we got from this thing. So I'm fully satisfied with all four teams that's in the college football playoffs. I think that's the first time that's ever happened in the history of college football playoffs. Um, everybody's going to be so well represented. I think the best defensive team as far as talent wise is going to be Ohio State. They got the number one corner, number one, number one pass rusher over there. But I think all these games are going to be won and lost by the offense. Um, hey, man, Joe Cool is the clear uh, Heisman front runner, the clear number one overall pick, in my opinion. Um, I think the, I think he's the top tier quarterback amongst all these guys. But you know, um, Justin Fields, you know, baby Cam Newton, the sophomore. I think he's gonna come out next year. Uh, you can't really sleep on him. Sunshine, hey, this is a slow year for for him. Um, <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, I, I've been calling him Sunshine so long, I forgot his name. Name, uh, Trevor Lawrence or whatever. You know, he's only threw for like, let's take a look. He's thrown for. Uh, 3,100 yards in the air. You know, we expected him to be like in the 5,000 somewhere. That's just how much that we thought of Trevor Lawrence. But, I mean, I'm not going to jump off a ledge and say that he's falling off or anything. I just think that he, you know, you know, there was another year of film on him and you got another year to figure out what was going on with the guy. But, you know, he, he, he hey, he's in this spotlight. So for everybody that's got something to say negatively about Sunshine, hey, this is his chance to put hands on people. He's going to go up against Ohio State. And, hey, and if you if you tired of people talking about you, ex champion Trevor Lawrence, then say something. Defending champion Trevor Lawrence, pardon me, the ex champion would be uh, would be Jalen Hurts. You know him and him and uh, Lincoln Riley put that Oklahoma offense together, and they just hey they're they're just they're just super dynamic over that way. So everybody's really gonna bring something different here in terms of Lincoln Riley's offense, the run and gun type of deal that we're doing uh, with um, with Ohio State Sunshine being like baby Peyton Manning allegedly air quote. We'll have to see him. 
um, prove that to us. And, you know, Joe Joe just putting the nipple on the titty in terms of all college football quarterback talent. So, hey, man, we'll have to cross that road whenever we get there, bro. But it's going to be fun to see these guys battle it out. And in terms of running backs, hey, man, look, we got 6'4", 270 Clyde, right? You know Clyde is 6'4", 270. That's why I call him 6'4", 270 Clyde. J.K. Dobbins is a beast. Travis Etienne is a beast. And it's pronounced ETN like the letter E, letter T, letter N. ETN is a beast. Um, you know, like we talk about running backs, man. Like Kennedy Brooks is like the lead running back at Oklahoma. But if we could just be fair for a minute, Jalen Hurts is the lead running back for Oklahoma. And, you know, if you look at the Ohio State side, even when J.K. Diamonds isn't running the football right down your throat, um, you know, we still got Justin Fields making it work with his legs, too. So I think all these running back, uh, this is a great year for running back. If you're a draft fan and you're looking for running back help, you're looking for wide receiver help, things like that, man, this is a great class has to go get you some running backs man uh the wisconsin kid is also in this conversation it's a bit soon for me to get into draft stuff like with uh names and just being as well versed as i normally am in draft talk but uh wait till like march and i'm gonna really blow this thing off the uh off the uh blow this thing out the water here but these are your running backs man running well your quarterbacks and you're running quarterbacks and running backs um and they're gonna be well well represented in this college football playoffs man i think etn might be the best out of them but jk dob is so nasty y'all and you know what clyde to be fair i don't like making bold proclamations this soon because y'all will incriminate me and go find a 10 year old video that i said clyde may have the best career out of all of them in terms of being a runner and a and a pass catcher depending on the situation clyde go to clyde could be the best out of all of them but I don't know. We'll cross that road whenever we get there. Let's move on. Now, wide receiver, I will say everybody, like all four of these teams, they use their wide receivers evenly. Like they just kind of spread the load out amongst them. Um, and that comes from, you know, different system guys, you know, different, uh, you know, just uh, the, the quarterbacks getting the ball out to different people. But um, some guys are going to clearly be better better than others. But uh, from uh, from LSU, we're looking at uh, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, both. Now, now, see, these two guys are different. Because I'm going to talk about these these two guys differently than I'm going to talk about two guys from Ohio State. The receivers at Ohio State just kind of catch the ball and move the chains and just do whatever um, do whatever Justin Fields kind of tells them to do. But like Chase and uh, Chase and Jefferson from LSU, these guys are good, 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 good. Like they got uh, they both have more than a thousand yards uh, receiving a piece. One's got like 14 touchdowns, the other got like 18. So they legitimately um, are two receivers that can play. Um, kind of like if you look at Alabama, they got three receivers that can play. Like they take the load evenly, but they still got stars at receiver. Like Chase and Jefferson are stars at receiver. Look out for them. Um, T. Huggins just had a nasty game, uh, like a three touchdown game last week versus uh, versus Virginia. Now Virginia probably shouldn't even have been in that fight with with uh, Clemson. I know it was the ACC championship game, but you know Clemson is, is pretty much boss over there. Um, but in terms of receiving talent, Higgins is, is uh, definitely up there. Um, and hey, man, CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb is a gangster. Like he plays like a gangster. He, he, you, you would you would you would think like like since he's a he's a slim looking cat that he doesn't play that way. Nah, he 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 plays with great great vengeance and furious anger. Um, he's gonna be the one to look out for Oklahoma. So, uh, hey, man, keep your eyes open, man. Keep your eyes open for all this all this talent, man. We have a. Uh, we just have an abundance of it uh, for every level. Like no, nobody snuck in. Like you can make the argument the Oklahoma kind of sort of quasi maybe um, had the longest way to climb back in terms of being a one loss team. They had to climb all the way back into this thing in order to um, make the number four spot. But um, I think everybody, everybody deserves to be here. And if you take away like the potential of Georgia or, or you know, how good Arvin is or even Tua getting hurt, but how, you know, Bama kind of turned out how that season turned out or whatever. I think these are the best four teams in college football this year. So now let's get into predictions. And I normally don't get into predictions, but uh, hey, man, it's for the video, man. What y'all want me to say? Uh, I think LSU is going to beat the shit out of Oklahoma. It just is what it is. And I think Oklahoma is fantastic. I think they got a lot of talent. I think they're going to make it a good fight. Oklahoma may put up like 28, 35 points, but I think LSU is going to get points in the 40 somewhere. Uh, I just got that much faith in 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 Joe and what they doing over there, man. No offense to um, Jalen Hurts and 
um, you know, those 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 guys over there, man. But, you know, I, I just don't see nobody beating LSU this year. Spoiler alert, my bad, though. <laughs> um, Ohio State and Clemson, that's going to be the fun, fun fight. That's going to be the, the, the game that should be relatively closer, in my opinion. I don't think it's going to necessarily be that way, but in my opinion, it's going to be that close. And um, then... Long story short, I have Ohio State beating Clemson or whatever. But then you got LSU playing Ohio State, which is going to depend on who can play the most defense because it's going to be another shootout. Um, I don't want to make it seem like LSU has a bad defense. I don't want to say that because once they got healthy, they they really started to play better. I just got that much faith in Ohio State's offense. Um, and you can say the same token for Ohio State's defense. Like, like Chase Young... Chase Young is an animal, and LSU is going to have to find a way to block him. But uh, I just think they have to stop LSU from putting up 42 points. If LSU can get the 42 points, in which they've done it a bunch this year, if LSU can get the 42 points, I think they're going to be the champion at the end of this thing. And I think Coach Ogeron is going to definitely get his check at the end of this thing, man. Coach going to get paid, you know what I mean? Go Tigers. Um, with that being said, man, that's the end of this video, man. Uh, I just kind of wanted to put my thought my thoughts out about the college football playoffs. I think it's going to be a fun one this year. I think that it's it's uh it's properly represented with the four teams that we have in there, and uh, I can't wait until um till they go down. December twenty eighth is going to be the first round, and then you know you know we play the championship on uh um like sometime in January. Like it's like the Monday or Tuesday or something <laughs> in in January or something like that. So it's a weird little day, but uh. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the championship game. But, hey, hey, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I, patreon.com slash Vach Lombard if y'all want to show me some support over there and hit the like and subscribe button with the notification bell uh, so you know when I drop random-ass videos in the middle of the week just like this. And for my draft uh, audience, we're going to be getting into draft talk in um, January pretty heavy. Y'all know we wait till after the football season to get that going get the full-blown draft season going so y'all stay tuned and thank you for being patient because i know my draft my my draft crowd hates when i go full cowboys but y'all gonna have to hang in there with me y'all hold it down for the doski walls and the peace whiskey man till next time salute my cable bill was way too high i reached out to affordablesticks.com they sent me a fire stick plugged that thing into the hdmi now i get unlimited shows movies and live tv I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through ChannelsForCheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. But you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.